My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 59 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at oxides and hydrides. Oxides and hydrides. What are oxides and what are hydrides? When oxygen combine with one other element only, we form oxides, which means oxides are compound formed when oxygen and one other element combine. Similarly, hydrides are formed when hydrogen react with one other element only. But there is an exemption which is in complex covalent hydride. We shall look at that soon. Now that we know that oxygen plus one other element equals oxides and hydrogen plus one other element equals hydrides, what are the types of oxides and what are the types of hydrides? We have five types of oxides. The first one is acidic oxides. Acidic oxides are oxides of known metals, which means when oxygen reacts with a known metal, we form acidic oxide. Examples of acidic oxides are carbon four oxide, oxygen with carbon, no metal. Sulfur six oxide, oxygen with sulfur, sulfur is a no metal. Nitrogen four oxide, oxygen with nitrogen, which is a no metal. No metals generally form acidic oxides. Acidic oxides are also referred to as acid and hydride. What are acid and hydride? Acid and hydride are simply oxides that dissolve in water to form acid. Any compound that dissolves in water to form acid is referred to as acid and hydride. So, all these acidic oxides are acid and hydride because they will dissolve in water to form acid. Now, NO2 is referred to as mixed acid and hydride. Do you know why? NO2 will dissolve in water to form two acids, HNO2 and HNO3. This is why it is referred to as mixed acid and hydride. Two basic oxides. Basic oxides are generally the oxides of metals. Examples, sodium oxide and potassium oxide. Basic oxides will react with water to form salt and water only. And the basic oxides that are soluble in water are referred to as alkalides. Alkalides are soluble bases. And we have amphoteric oxides. Amphoteric oxides, they behave as both acidic oxides and basic oxides. They have the property of both acidic oxide and basic oxide. They are acid, uh, amphoteric oxide. This is because they form complex ion, variable state. Examples of amphoteric oxide are zinc oxide and aluminium oxide. We have neutral oxides. Neutral oxides are neither acidic nor basic. They don't have acid property, they don't have basic property. They are carbon monoxide and dinitrogen one oxide, laughing gas. They are neutral oxides. Then we have peroxides. Any oxide where the oxidation state of oxygen is minus one instead of the normal minus two is referred to as peroxide. H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. H2O is hydrogen oxide. In that case, the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. But in peroxide, it is minus 1. Sodium peroxide, calcium peroxide, and barium peroxide are all peroxide. NH2O2, NA2O2, CaO2, BaO2. These are peroxides. 
Now, hydride, we have ionic hydrides. Ionic hydrides are hydrides of metal. When hydrogen reacts with metal, we form ionic hydride. And examples are sodium hydride and calcium hydride. Covalent hydride is simply when hydrogen combines with no metals. Water is a covalent hydride. Hydrogen fluoride is a covalent hydride. CH4, methane, is a covalent hydride. And we have the complex covalent hydride. In this case, hydrogen reacts with two other elements. Lithium tetrahydrodoaluminate and sodium tetrahydrodobromate. These guys are complex covalent hydrides and they are very, very strong reducing agents. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for oxides and hydrides. Did you find anything helpful? If you like what you are seeing, you like this channel, why not subscribe so that you'll be the first to get notified when new videos are ready. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, then get the Flash Nena Jam app and begin to play with questions under non-metas and their compounds. See you in the next episode.